estuaries where fresh water meets the sea and especially in winter and that's migration times, very busy places. Many species here need protection and we're all responsible for caring for them and the habitats they depend on. Whales are some of the most spectacular estuaries in Britain, like the Dee, the Severn and the Mauvach, all protected under the Natural 2000 network of sites of international importance. With the tide in, things are on hold, but when it recedes, the action starts. And this is why all these birds are here. Mud means food, and shell duck and waders like this red shank take advantage of the rich source it provides. When the tide returns, ducks such as these teal can sit it out, but waders must roost and then they're vulnerable to disturbance. It's often necessary to safeguard these resting places. Salt marshes on sites like the Bury Inlet are a natural form of sea defence, reduce pollution and produce a spectacular display of flowers. But alien species like these Canada geese are not always welcome. Estuary mud and sand habitats, including those with glasswort, are protected too. The returning tide also brings unseen visitors route upstream to breeding places for lamprey and salmon. Estuaries are places for recreation and are great for bird watching, but visitors need to be aware of their sensitivity. Man-made structures can squeeze out into tidal habitats as sea levels rise. Industry and climate change can also have impacts, so sympathetic planning is vital to ensure that these habitats are protected for the future. So enjoy our estuaries. Visit and wonder at how an oyster catcher finds a worm in the mud. But remember, we need these wild, muddy places as much as the creatures that depend on them for life.